The school district of Rhinelander serves just over 2,400 students and we are in a very large geographical area. We cover uh, 411 square miles and that would encompass the city of Rhinelander, which is Oneida County, the nine townships surrounding. We also have students that come from Lincoln and Langlade counties as well. We have six schools in our district. We have four wonderful elementary schools. They are Crescent, Pelican, Central, and Northwoods Community Elementary School. They are all 4K through 5th grade with our reconfiguration. There are a lot of benefits to having a 4K through 5th grade school. Fewer transitions for students is critical, and to be able to have that community feel in the buildings will be wonderful for families. The other schools are James Williams Middle School, which is our sixth through eighth grade campus, and Rhinelander High School, which is our ninth grade through twelfth grade campus. The technology is vital to the school. Our students are 21st century learners. Students are creating websites, and they're creating um, presentations, and they're creating skits, and they're doing the research. Our kindergartners all the way up have access to technology. We are a one-to-one -one school as well, so meaning every student is issued a district own Chromebook. We can collaborate uh, with students via Google and all of our Google uh, apps or education. We have Google Classroom which allows us to, to kind of um, have a, a one-stop shop for all of our students to know what their, what their assignments are and when they're due and all of those things so it helps us with organization and then you know the, the project options that are out there with, with technology are unbelievable. So this boat was the place of surrender of the Japanese at the end of World War II. The students really need access to those types of technologies now to be successful. We've received a couple state grants in the last couple of years in order to bolster our Fab Lab program, a 21st century lab where students can basically create just about anything. That's been a huge development is, is just the process of having a Fab Lab in our high school that not only can be used by our students here, but also reaching out to the community as well to give students the 21st century skills in manufacturing and, and different processes that and when they leave here, they will have those skills to go with them to different corporations and jobs throughout the area and, and beyond. We have many different learning opportunities available for students from regular classroom to virtual opportunities uh, where they can do all or part of their curriculum online. The Hode Connections Learning Center is a new off-site location that's in our downtown. We run several programs um, for high school students out of that center. We focus on individualized learning plans, a safe, comfortable environment, um, and prepping our students for a successful life after high school. We also do a lot of project-based, hands-on, inquiry-based, so that it's not so teacher-directed. That inquiry, students can guide what they want to learn about in many ways. It's a project-based school, and I love to do research history and make slideshows. And there's a lot of fun teachers here. Project-based learning is at the beginning of the year, we kind of meet with the families, and we, it's called an ILP, an individual learning plan. So that's where we get the kids' interest, whether it's football or gymnastics or building things or they like to sing or things like that. So the teachers really focus on those to start the year. I really wanted to do the Maker Fair and I thought it would be a cool activity to do with other people and share other research that we learned with other people. I have project days um, where we celebrate those learnings uh, to the community, to uh, parents and just kind of show about three or four times a year of what the kids can create and present. Good job. Good job. We want to ensure that every student is learning something new in every class every day in the way that they need to learn it. Success for us means success for every single student. For us all means all. Universal Design for Learning is a K-12 framework that we're applying to how we set up classrooms and design lessons and think about assessment so that there are multiple means of getting engaged in any lesson at any given time. The Special Education Department for the School District of Rhinelander is top-notch. We have very highly trained case managers and therapists and services available for all types of disability areas at all grade levels. Philosophically, we deeply believe in um, inclusive opportunities for all students at all levels. Um, we have kids with 
physical or emotional disabilities that participate in any one of our extracurricular activities and in all classes across the district. And we're really proud of that. It's a lively place to be. We're a building of just under 800 students currently in grades 9 through 12. We offer a wide array of extracurriculars and coursework and AP coursework and dual credit classes that you won't find in any other district up here in the Northwoods. So I'm very proud to say that as a high school and as a district, we have all those opportunities available for students to take advantage of. I think RHS's diversity in course selections that you can have is extremely beneficial um, and it sets you up really, really well for college and going in with credits and classes that are really beneficial to your college courses that you're going to have to have either way, so you might as well get them done here. We also offer flex hour scheduling, which allows teachers during one hour where they can offer things such as test makeups or lab makeups maybe in science, guitar playing lessons that, uh, or something else that they're passionate about that students can sign up for Tuesday through Friday of every week. We really feel that producing a well-rounded student is, is best for, for their next step in their life and I think that RHS does a great job of that. We do some great shows and our auditorium is super, super big so we can do huge productions and actually pull them off in a really great way which is not common for a lot of the schools around here. I think it's really important for students to be able to study music education. It connects the students to the cultures of the world and um, it enhances their creativity and their confidence and uh, their teamwork. Extracurriculars is just one thing towards our mission that helps support all the academics here at the School District of Rhineland. It's a commitment of excellence. Um, we're trying to strive um, to not only have the best academics, but also activities and clubs. It's been great to see our, our school culture build around our athletics and our extracurricular activities. And you talk about fall sports, winter sports, and spring sports, we really have great teams here that are, that are building not only athletes, but, but uh, young men and women to be great. Anything that will get them involved beyond the school day I think always helps to make a student more well-rounded. FBLA and DECA is our, our biggest club at over 110 members. We get leadership opportunities and we get to work professionally with people from around the community. Physical education is huge. We have an impact that lasts forever for kids' lives. It's, it's important that our kids get the exercise that they need all day long. Uh, they are sitting down in physical education. They are up, they are learning on their feet. We try to get them involved in a lot of different things like rock climbing, archery, um, different things that maybe they haven't done before like cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. It also helps their academics. Um, strong bodies are strong minds and that will improve our school overall too. There are a lot of healthy options um, in the school district of Rhinelander for both students and staff and community members. We have the Heck Family Pool, which we make available for community to use, and there's no cost for that. It's open swim time. We also have the Aspirus Fitness Center. We started the Common Room, and it was to help kids get the wiggles out, have a place to go when they're frustrated with their work or a test or maybe something that happened at home or on the bus before they got here. And it's, it's worked out really well. The zones of regulation is basically a framework of, a, in a way of thinking about our emotions and our, our state of alertness. The students learn how to identify what zone they are in and they learn tools that they can use to Teachers are encouraged to have students check in throughout the day, so check in by sharing what zone they're in, um, whether it be first thing in the morning or maybe coming in from recess or lunch. It's, it's just a good way for students to become more self-aware about what their feeling or, or level of alertness is, and the curriculum is meant to foster self-regulation and emotional control, so the zones of regulation ties in nicely with PBIS. We do use PBIS in all of our buildings. Uh, 
positive behavior interventions and supports. And it's, it's kind of a character education program. It's learning to make good decisions. We search out positive behaviors instead of looking at um, negative behaviors. It's just a, a different way of looking at um, a behavioral cycle and, and getting students to really buy into a positive culture around the school. We have the four B's which are be here, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. And that applies in the classroom, in the hallways, on the buses, on the playgrounds, uh, pretty much anywhere in our school. And we have four banners in our gym that our parents have designed them. We do have PBIS here at the high school. We want Hode Eggs to be ready, be responsible, and be here every day so we can get the best out of them and, and they can do the best work and have the best experience. We do weekly drawings, but then we do one big drawing at the end of the year where we uh, will give away that car that was donated to us from Rhinelander GM, and they've done that for a number of years now. Odeg Adventure Care provides quality care for families and their kids before and after school through grades kindergarten and fifth grade. We have fun, energetic staff who create a wonderful, positive, safe, fun, and healthy environment for the kids. One of the things that we like to do is just kind of promote um, physical activity, get the kids working off some of that energy that they had during school. We have daily snack time. We promote kids' interests through arts and crafts, construction play, puzzles and problem solving. Um, we also like to provide activities that get kids thinking, just overall having fun with their friends. We have teachers that are really passionate about their subjects and it comes through in their delivery every day and working with their students and engaging the students. I personally love the teachers that we have at the high school. I have personal connections with a lot of them, which is something I really appreciate because like at bigger schools, you're, you can easily fall through the cracks. But here, like I feel like I can have a really personal conversation with a lot of my teachers and be able to confide in them and ask them life questions rather than just asking them a simple math problem or something like that. Um, I only have one teacher, his name is Mr. Bonson. and he is like the best teacher at our school. He just does a lot of fun different things, yeah. The teachers and the staff are super caring and um, the communication with the parents and with the staff are awesome. They care so much for him, which is the best part. We're like a family here. The staff is like a family. I don't even call this a job because you get to I get to come to work every day be around the people I enjoy being around I love the kids well anytime that you can have open lines of communication between the school district and the community uh, that is a good thing so no better way to do that than to actually bring uh, our community members into our schools we try and do family nights so that we're getting the families to come in and do things together with us that sometimes learning experiences, sometimes it's just having fun with our kids together because it's so important that the kids are seeing that we're a team. We try to do as much as we can with the families and involve the families. Parents are welcome anytime to come through the school and the kids always love seeing their parents here. We've had grandparents day where the grandparents get to come and do an activity with the kids in their classroom. We have these buildings here in the school district that are primarily used during the school day. However, we don't want to lock them up and turn off all the lights in the evening, so we organize activities, classes in different topics for primarily adults, but young people are welcome to many of the classes as well. Uh, but they're in topics like fitness and cooking and art and really you name it. And anybody from the community who is interested in teaching a class, uh, they might have an expertise or a special interest in something and they want to share it with the community. Uh, they can come in and meet with me and we'll organize an activity for a very lo low cost and utilize our school buildings for those classes. It's lifelong learning for the community. It's the idea that we are, never stop learning new things. It's given me confidence. Uh, usually I take art classes and it gives me confidence to go home and, and um, push myself further. We have many updated facilities the Sarah Rush Science Labs at James Williams Middle School. We have the John and Dory Brown Performing Arts Center. We have the Jim Miasga Gymnasium, the Superior Diesel Advanced Learning Center, the One Prospect Media Center. We have the Heck Community Pool. 
The Mike Webster Stadium was the, the last big project and Hodeg Schools Foundation uh, did a huge amount of work to help raise the funds to update that facility. So everything continues to improve, which is not only great for the community members, but the athletes more specifically, so they can really shine and show what they're capable of. We live in a beautiful part of the country and our state. We have the Cedric A. Vig Outdoor Classroom, which we call CAVOC, and it's a beautiful facility right in our school district. We have 160 acres right here in this parcel where we have the, the Environmental Education Center, and we provide all kinds of opportunities for the students and, and parents and the community and the district. That offers miles and miles of trails for hiking. Um, they're groomed in the winter for snowshoeing and skiing. So we have the high ropes course. <laughs> we have Long Lake. Um, we have all the activities we do with the trails and our systems here. It's a real jewel for the district. Our building trades class several years ago actually built on the addition uh, using timber from our own forest. We have planted uh, in the neighborhood of 90,000 trees on the school forest uh, with, with student help and it gives them ownership and they come back year after year to look at this and they bring their, their children and grandchildren back. So it gives, them, it gives them ownership. I think it gives them real pride to be part of it. The kids are wonderful here. It's a, it's a, it's a culture of kids that, that believe in themselves. As a teacher, that's the, most, uh, that's the most rewarding, is working with the kids. And if, if any teacher tells you anything different, then they're not, they're not getting the best out of teaching. Well, at Central School, we care about kids a great deal and they're not just my class it's all of our kids and we work together to make sure that the kids are succeeding. Pelican School is just awesome we're a family here um, the important thing is the kids the kids you can see on their faces how happy they are to be here. It's a very progressive school uh, we're constantly learning new things as teachers and as a, as a team staff um, we're constantly trying to find out what the, the latest and greatest things are to keep the, the learning new for both teaching teachers and students. What makes NCES special is just the, the small school feel to it where older kids can kind of be little mentors for younger kids and the behaviors. I mean they kind of help out the younger kids whether it's at the bus stop or recess um, or reading buddies we do with fifth grade or second grade, fourth grade, kindergarten and so on. I would definitely say that my favorite part about RHS is the community feeling that you have when you walk through the doors. We should all feel proud of what we have to offer here at the School District of Rhinelander and Rhinelander High School. I don't know any other school that cares for their kids like we do. Our motto is committed to excellence. And anywhere people go, if you say you're a hoed egg, they know you're from Rhinelander.